Hi, today I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best free screen capture software that's available to download that I've come across so far. So it's called Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 and can record at any screen resolution up to 1080p HD depending at what monitor resolution you have set. So the only major restriction with the free version as opposed to the paid version is the fact that you cannot record for more than 10 minutes in one go. But in my opinion, this isn't a particularly stringent restriction on what you can do with the program. So type in Expression Encoder and click onto the main product page and click on Try Now and then scroll down until you see Expression Encoder 4 Service Pack 1 and click on Download Now. And this will take you onto the Microsoft download page and you can see the file size is 24 megabytes which is a relatively small file so it should only take a minute or two to download. So now we'll have a look at the interface of the program and some of the many features that are included with it. So when you launch the program you'll be given a variety of options including a transcoding project and a silverlight project. There's also a live broadcasting project which enables you to live stream your PC screen over the internet. But for now we're going to have a look at a standard transcoding project. And this type of project will enable you to export your screen capture files into the program, edit them, then render them as a new file which can be uploaded to the internet. So on the main editing screen here you can see that are the standard video playback buttons as well as some tools that will enable you to edit the video such as splitting it and adding an overlay such as a logo onto the video. So here's a sample project here you can see that the screen is filled with a preview of what the rendered file will be and to show you an example of how to use the video overlay tool you go on to timeline then add visual overlay and then you can choose a file I'll just choose my logo here and then that basically enables you to resize the file and put it over the video like so and for the render options I recommend setting the mode to CBR one pass this means that instead of doing two passes rendering the video it only does one and this cuts down the rendering time by about half which is quite useful if you want to render the file in a hurry and Expression Encoder is very good at rendering the files to a very small file size a video of approximately two minutes long will only have a file size of about 11 megabytes which means that you can upload it very quickly to sites such as YouTube and I'll just give you a preview of the recording interface here you can see here on the main interface of the recorder that it gives you a list of all of the screen captures that you've carried out over the last session using it and also on the next photo there are the screen capture options so you can change the frame rate and also the quality and also whether you capture the mouse pointer or not on the third picture here we've got the audio options and you can set it to record from any sources of audio coming from your computer so that includes the default audio going through the speakers as well as any microphones you may have attached to it and on the fourth picture here there are the other options including highlighting the mouse pointer and you can see there using webcam capture as an overlay if you have webcam then you can have your face in the corner of the video whilst you're recording finally to export the project as a file and render it go to file then encode and it will begin encoding the file immediately and this will be saved within my documents in a folder called expression under that expression encoder and then under that output and the folders will be arranged in the date that you encoded the file so thank you for watching